I apologize in advance. This is a super busy corner in Horseheads, New York. Good morning, Elmira, and good morning, Horseheads. This is the Zim Center. I'm J.D. Isles, and of course, this is Hidden Landmarks Live. This is the live local history show I do every sun, every Friday morning at 9 a.m. Today we're going to talk about a number of things, but the number one thing we're going to talk about today is the Raphael Gregorian School of Classical Ballet. Um, this school and Mr. Gregorian are kind of tied through Elmira's history in a very interesting way I will tell you about soon. But let's talk about this church. So this is the Zim Center. Uh, originally, this was a church built in 1915, and at some point it was taken over by the town of Horseheads as a recreational center for the town. It is currently privately owned and houses a number of different businesses which we're gonna talk about here in a second. Once I get inside. But fine old 1915 church. So there are three businesses. There is a gymnastics business downstairs. And then this space and let me just show you. And this space is a dance studio called Let's, Let's Dance. And of course, it's also home to the ring of Carrie Celtic dancers. Celtic? Celtic? Celtic. But this is an amazingly large space. I mean, if you've watched Hidden Landmarks at all, you know that I love when a church, once it finishes its life as a church, can be repurposed into something else. And of course, we have a lot of examples of that throughout Shimon County and the Southern Tier. And sadly, we have a couple examples of church that, churches that just never made that leap to repurposed. So this is, whoops, hold on in here. There we go. So this is the studio of Raphael Gregorian. Now they are currently getting ready, as you can see from the costumes, they are getting ready to do Cinderella at the Clemens Center. And I did want to give them a plug here. Um, so they're going to be doing Prokofiev's Cinderella, which I'm told is, you know, it's obviously classical ballet, but I've also been told it is a very funny show and people will enjoy it. Um, I'm going to be there Saturday, uh, April 20th at 2 p.m. It's at the Clemens Center. Uh, you can buy tickets at the door, or you can buy them from the Clemens Center box office in advance. Um, so, why are we here today talking about Raphael Gregorian? Um, Raphael came to the United States. Um, he was actually recruited by Bill Perry uh, around 1986-ish. Um to do the choreography for the Mark Twain musical. Uh, Mr. Gregorian had been trained at the Kirov Ballet School in Leningrad, and at about 50 years old, um, he actually was recruited and brought over here and worked with the Mark Twain musical for 10 years, a lot of people who only vaguely remember the Mark Twain musical and myself who had never heard of the Mark Twain musical 
prior to coming to Elmira, I Am a Transplant, are amazed to find out that that musical actually ran for 10 years. Mr. Gregorian and his wife, originally from Russia, fell in love with the area and they decided to stay. Um, he established a school for classical ballet um, roughly around 1991 and has been going in a variety of locations ever since. Um, and we're glad that he has been doing this. Um, you know, I got to spend time with Mr. Gregorian the other afternoon and found him incredibly charming. We talked for a long time, and one of the things that I was really struck by was the fact that he has had the ability to influence so many young lives here in the area. He has brought them an appreciation of art and music and dance and choreography and movement. And I think a lot of these life lessons that he teaches here on the dance floor are probably lessons that these girls, some of whom are now parents, these lessons are being echoed to their children as well. So Mr. Gregorian is really an institution here in the Southern Tier and specifically here in Elmira. And I think we are much better off because he is here. And I'm very happy that he has had this incredible legacy of dance here in this area. I hope to see all of you at Cinderella Saturday, April 20th at 2 p.m. I'm very excited to see it. I am not going to be wearing one of these costumes. Um, everyone have a fantastic day, and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.